Hey, I'm Primitive Tim, and today is kind of a bonus episode. I'm up here in Davis Creek. I'm out here just to fill this bucket up with as much obsidian as I can. Because Davis Creek is known for its rainbow obsidian. And not every piece of obsidian has a rainbow in it. So I gotta filter through all these rocks, checking each one, see if it's got any color in it. This is some pretty hard work, so I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast this morning. That's good stuff. So I got my breakfast, flossed and brushed my teeth, so I am ready for some hard work in the mines. All right, so what I'm looking for here is basically all this rock in here. This is all obsidian. And so um, what I'm looking for is larger chunks. I mean, I could probably get an arrowhead out of this, but I want chunks that I can get several arrowheads out of. And I want chunks that have rainbow in it. This ground is real crumbly. So you can just use a stick and just crumble away around the rocks that you're interested in. All this rock in here can potentially have uh, different colors in it. And so I just have to get out a rock, bash it open with another rock, look at it, if it's got color, awesome. Put it in my bucket. If not, then I just toss it down and dig out the next one. See, this, bit, this piece is really gray. It hasn't got any, uh, hasn't got any rainbow in it. And so there's, there's some perfectly good stuff here laying on the ground. So like this, this right here, this might have something good in it. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of purple though. Hey, there's a sign. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Now there's several commercial mines right in the same area as this public mine, but they don't want you getting in their pit and digging out basically their rocks. But, a lot of them will throw out the rocks they don't want and make these huge piles like this one here. And they don't care if you take them. All right, so I'm done mining today. Um, I got a lot of just absolutely gorgeous pieces. But um, this has got a little blue and green. And um, they call it rainbow obsidian because it really does have every color of the rainbow. I mean, there's everything from, well, I've, I've got green, blue, purple. I saw some yellow in there. And I mean, just every color. This piece right here has a lot of blue in it. And um, I mean, it's just awesome having, just being able to pick up a rock and look at it and see that kind of color in it. I mean, that's not just a normal blue, that's a like electric blue right there. And that's just absolutely gorgeous color. Now this flake is pretty ugly, but it's got some bl a lot of blue in it, which is really pretty. But um, stuff like this, I'm just gonna give it to like normal people because I don't think I could get an arrowhead out of that gnarly piece. I mean, I might be able to get something small, but um, I just couldn't throw it, I couldn't throw it on the ground because of that blue in it. So overall, I filled up my bucket. I feel pretty good about the whole trip. And so far I haven't popped a tire. Crossing my fingers, hopefully I don't pop a tire on the way out because these roads are littered with obsidian. Well guys, thanks for joining me on my adventure out into uh, Davis Creek looking for obsidian. I'm really, really pleased with what I found. The stuff is some really 
really pretty rock here. And um, if you want to see some actually good pictures of this stuff, go ahead and like the Facebook page, the Primitive Tim Facebook page. And of course, subscribe, please subscribe. And um, I'm going to be going on more adventures like this out in nature all across the country. And there's a lot more to learn about this beautiful country and a lot more gems to find. So until next time, find a new way to appreciate nature.